Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. It's been a little bit over a year since Tyson Kidd suffered his broken neck. Now, Tyson Kidd took to Twitter this past week and revealed that he still can't feel his head or move his head the same way he did before the injury. He said that he remains focused on his recovery and would one day would like to return to the ring. Now, if you don't remember, Tyson Kidd suffered a broken neck while taking a muscle buster from Samoa Joe during a Raw Dark match back on June 1st, 2015. Ultimately, Kidd broke his neck and had to have fusion surgery only a few weeks later on June 24th, and he's been sitting home ever since. A lot of people say that the WWE is not going to clear him, that he's trying to come back, but no. WWE is not going to clear him yet because he's not ready to come back. Like I said, he noted on Twitter that he still loses feeling in his head and neck. So he's nowhere near ready to come back. And it's not like he's trying to push it like Daniel Bryan did. The feeling is that, you know, his head was expected to come back after surgery. But like I said, he noted on Twitter, he's still having the numbness. While Kid hasn't talked publicly about the injury or his entering future, Bruce Hart said that kid will never be able to wrestle again and that the family feels like wrestling is in his past. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter noted that the entire situation backstage that night was far worse than has ever come out and that most people tried to play it down because a lot of people thought he was on the verge of death. They thought that he broke his neck so bad that he wasn't going to survive. Now, there were some rumors going around this past summer that Tyson Kidd's contract with the WWE was expected to expire, and there were talks from WWE doctors telling WWE don't re-sign him. It was also rumored that people close to Kidd expected him to speak out on this situation, but he hasn't really done that, and he's wanted to, you know, just focus on his recovery. He wants to try and get better, and he doesn't want to start any, I guess you could say, crap. He just wants to do what he has to do to get better. So as of right now, Tyson Kidd is still feeling it. He is still feeling the, well, I guess you can't say, really say he's feeling the pain because he's not feeling anything. He said that he's got a lot of numbness and feeling lost in his head and neck. And he still can't move it like he used to. We know he's no longer in a neck brace. He's been out of the neck brace for some time now. But it's just an unfortunate situation as a lot of people thought that he was going to get a big push from the WWE, whether it be with Cesaro in a tag team or as a singles. We saw him get a huge push and his popularity really rose when he came back from his knee injury and worked on NXT for a while. And with that popularity came the creation of the tag team with Cesaro, and they were one of the more over tag teams in the WWE at the time. So it's unknown exactly what the future does have in store for Tyson Kidd. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. It looks as if a year, and two, three months out, he shouldn't still have the numbness. He should be able to feel the things in his head and neck again. Maybe, maybe you can say, oh, yeah, he's not going to be able to move it the same way anymore. OK, we got that. But I'm not hearing anything about progressing slower than thought. I'm just hearing that most thought maybe he can he could be ahead of schedule and he's not. So as of right now, Tyson Kidd's future, like I said, is unknown. It's really unknown until he can get that full mobility back into his head and neck. And if he doesn't, then maybe he can get a different role within professional wrestling. Or maybe he doesn't want to be around it anymore because he can't do what he loves. Maybe it's a Daniel Bryan situation where he doesn't want to be around, but he has to. Like I said with his contract, though, it is coming up soon. And I don't know... If both sides want to extend it, if both sides want to let it just go, or what's actually going to happen with his contract as far as what WWE wants to do. But people have been asking me, they said, hey, it's been a little over a year. What's the update on Tyson Kidd? And that's all we got, really. He hasn't really progressed much over the last six to eight months. His future is unknown, and nobody really knows exactly what's going to happen. So if any more news does come up on Tyson Kidd and his injury and status within the WWE, we will bring it to you here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited.
Remember guys, comment below, like, and share this video, like us on Facebook, and subscribe here on YouTube.